In this video, I will demonstrate how Nerdio Manager enables availability zones in your Azure deployment of WVD. So first thing to review is the concept of availability zones. Every Azure region is uh, a, a set of data centers, uh, also known as availability zones. There is at least three availability zones within each region, and there are some regions that do have availability zones and some regions that do not. Uh, and VMs uh, specifically can be deployed into any one or more of these availability zones and still be able to communicate with all the other region-specific services. So when you deploy a WVD session host just by default uh, using the Azure portal or, or using um, you know, uh, some manual methods, they will typically end up in the same availability zone or really in, in a non-predictable way of, of where those VMs will be. The goal of the availability zone functionality in the Nerdio Manager is to allow you to control the distribution of your session host VMs across these three availability zones. And by doing so, you can ensure that if there is a data center failure in one of the availability zones, so if there's a physical you know, building location type of a problem within one of the Azure regions that takes an availability zone um, out of the commission, the VMs and the session hosts in the other availability zones are going to continue being available and providing services to your users. So how do you enable this? Uh, it's actually quite simple. It is a property of a host pool. So let's go into our workspace. Let's open up a host pool and let's take a look under properties and go to VM deployment. Under VM deployment, we will see a new option called distribute VMs across availability zones. This option is available in Nerdio Manager version 2.5 and newer. And all you need to do is check this box and click OK. Doing this is going to tell the Nerdio Manager that when any new session host VMs are created or re-imaged, it will automatically balance and put them into the available availability zones if supported by the particular region and by the selected VM size. And it will do so automatically. So it's always going to try to match the, um, to match the distribution of your VMs across the three availability zones. So if you're deploying, you know, let's say nine VMs, it will try to put three in each availability zone, et cetera. So it's going to keep as, as an even of a distribution as it can. And what that leads to is if one of the availability zones goes down, you will still be able to access VMs in the other availability zones. So this is just another feature of Nerdio Manager that improves the resilience and availability of your WVD deployment. Uh, and it is available in version 2.5 and newer. Hope you found this useful and look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you.